Are you trying to connect a MIDI keyboard to your iPhone or your iPad and running into trouble? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips and troubleshooting advice to get you up and running. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now using a MIDI keyboard is one of the best ways to get note information into your iPhone or your iPad, whether you're using GarageBand or any other digital audio workstation. But sometimes your MIDI keyboard is just not gonna play nicely and it will not connect or it will not work. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the most common problems and solutions to those problems to get you up and running. Oh, and hang around to the end of the video because a special especially if you've got a newer iPhone or an iPad Pro, you'll want to know about this device that helps you add a headphone jack and additional USB ports to your device. Now to connect your MIDI keyboard to your iPad or your iPhone, you're going to need something like this, a lightning to USB adapter. Now Apple make two versions. This one is the lightning to USB three, and it has a USB port, a lightning port for keeping your device charged and the connector that goes into your iPhone or your iPad. So you connect up that end and then you plug the USB cable from your MIDI keyboard into the other end. Now the challenge that some folks have is that they may have picked up something like this, which is a aftermarket non-genuine version. Now, do these work? Yes, sort of, kind of, maybe. I've tried these before. They may work. They may work intermittently, or they may not work at all. Or Apple may update their iOS and they stop working. So my recommendation is, yes, you have to pay more, but if you pick up one of these, you buy them once and you use them forever. So there are links down in the description as well as a video up the top there and down in the description that will tell you all about lightning to USB adapters and how to connect your USB devices. So assuming you've got yourself a working lightning to USB adapter, the next thing to consider is the cable that you use. So most of your keyboards will come with a pretty good quality cable, but make sure that you're using the right sort of cable and that it's a decent quality because some of the cheaper cables you pick up from eBay are not gonna do the job. So here we go, we've got this cable here. We just find our port, we plug that end in there, that's plugged in, and then we grab the other end, and that goes in here. And now we are connected up and ready to attach to our iPad or our iPhone, and we should be good to go. Most of your MIDI keyboards, like this Korg Micro Key, can be powered directly by the USB connection on your iPad or your iPhone. Your iPad or iPhone provide enough power for them, but if you ever get the message, this device uses too much power or not enough power for this device, you may need to externally power your device. Now, if you've got a device like the one you can see behind me there that actually has an AC outlet that you can actually plug in to power, then grab the original AC adapter and plug it in and then connect the USB cable and you should be good to go because some of your larger keyboards do need to be externally powered. If you don't have an external AC power and you're still getting that problem, there's another solution which I'm going to show you now. And that solution is to pick up one of these, a powered USB hub. Now I say powered because it needs to plug in to AC power. And what this does is you plug this in, you connect this up to your iPhone or your iPad, and then you get four powered USB ports. So if your keyboard is using too much power and the iPhone or the iPad's not providing enough, now you can plug into this and it will get that AC power that it needs from the wall outlet via this one. Now I'm not gonna demonstrate this because I've got a complete video, which will be linked up the top there and at the end of this one as well. So if you wanna learn how to connect up multiple USB devices with a powered USB hub, then you can check that one out. Okay, so you've got yourself a genuine adapter, you're plugged in, you have power, your keyboard's still not working. What do you do now? Well, there is a chance that if you're using an older MIDI keyboard, it may not be what's called class compliant. Now, class compliant means that it can run without the use of any drivers, so the old plug and play. Now, if your keyboard does require drivers, so a lot of the older Yamaha and Casio keyboards do require a USB driver to actually use their USB MIDI, then unfortunately, you're out of luck when it comes to an iPhone or an iPad. What you would need to do is consider upgrading and buying a new MIDI controller. The good news is that MIDI controllers are very cheap and very plentiful these days. And if you head over to studiolivetoday.com slash gear, I've got some recommendations for some of the MIDI controllers that I recommend over there. So what if it's connected and it seems to be working, but there's no sound coming through? You can't actually play the sound. Well, there's a couple of things to consider. One may be that if you've got an octave selector here, you might have the octave set too high or too low for the instrument that you're controlling. So try adjusting by clicking your octave buttons, or if you've got an octave switch selector, then tap on that and see if you can actually change the octave. That may solve your problem. 
So what if your MIDI keyboard doesn't have a USB connection at all? Instead, it has the old round five pin DIN style connectors. Well, no problem at all. You can pick up a device like this. This is an Edirol device. It's now made by Roland. It's a UM1X. And this has your two MIDI DIN connectors at one end and a USB connection at the other. And this is a class compliant device. So you can plug in your keyboards. Now your mileage may vary. Not every keyboard will work perfectly, but most that I have tried in the past with this device have worked. And this device is linked down in the description if you want to check it out. Oh, and I also have a video where I demonstrate how to use this device. That's linked up the top right now and also in the description. All right, bonus tip time. And this isn't really to troubleshoot something that's not working, but if you've got an iPhone 7, 8, or 10, or the new iPad Pro, you don't have a headphone jack. So you may be asking, once I plug one of these suckers in, how do I actually listen to and monitor the audio I play? Well, the solution is a little device like this. This is a USB sound card and USB hub. So what we have in the end there is we have microphone and headphone connections. And on the side here, we have USB port. So what can we do with this? Well, we can plug in our headphones, we can plug this in to our lightning to USB adapter, and then we can plug our keyboard into here. And now we can get audio sound. Now the quality is not as good as a real headphone jack because it is using this sound card and these are reasonably cheap products. You can pick these up for around about $10. There's links in the description if you want to grab one, but it's a handy piece of kit to have if you've got one of those newer iPhones or iPads because you can play your MIDI keyboard and monitor it at the same time. So there you have it. Hopefully if you're having trouble connecting your MIDI keyboard to your iPhone or your iPad, this has helped you out. There's two more videos all about MIDI keyboards linked down below. Don't forget to head to studiolivetoday.com gear and check the description for all of those links. And I'll see you on the next video.